Hey, I just want to welcome everybody to a legendary talk. This is Garage Talk, Sea Stories Edition. All of us Navy veterans, active duty, been around the world. I'm here just to share the platform of what we've been through, all the good times, the bad times, and the reminiscing. If you ever go to a bar or see some sailors out there talking, playing spades, this is what we talk about. Only the real can recognize the real. Active duty, military, and veterans, we all understand what we've been through been around the world and we have a lot of stories to share so i created a platform so we can share that story so uh all <laughs> most of my shit in, uh is involved with like drinking fighting <laughs> girls yeah it's, it's not i mean i got got into a few fights on my ship with some oh, yeah? Navy guys yeah because they didn't see us as uh, as sailors they saw us as marines which is totally fine <laughs> we threw them hands up. Uh, but you know what, though? The Marines, they got the most craziest Jody stories. <laughs> yo, yo, and the thing, like, the, and the, here's the thing, though. Like, being Doc, I hear them all. You hear them all, yeah. Me. Miss, we still good? Yeah, y'all still. So, what's that? What's that? The cra- how, long, how many years you did? So, I did 10. 10, did 10. yeah. He's salty. He's, he got yeah. a little salt on him. You know what I mean? We call it salty when you did some time. Yeah. You know, did more than one more than one tour, seen some things. Yeah. I, w- I would have to say the craziest Jody, well, one of the craziest Jody, Jody stories was uh, my first deployment to Iraq. Yeah. Uh, Boot Corman, um, you know, trying to be there for my guys. Um, and one of them actually got a letter from his wife, newly married. Only been together for about like three months before uh, they got married. Then he deployed. Yeah. So she wanted to leave him for <laughs> another woman. Whoa. So, but here's the thing though. So <laughs> <laughs> she gave him the option of staying together and them staying married and then just involving the female. He said no. So hold up. She said that she, I can stay married, but I just need my girlfriend. Yeah. But he, was he able to be with the girlfriend too? Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> he, yo, yo, it's, so but he was he was he was a nerd though. So you know I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't get mad at him. You know I, I didn't understand it at the time. None of us did. Uh, but yeah, he said no. Um, and then they got divorced while he was over there. She took everything, man. Um, and the thing is, while they were still married. Like all the money was going to his bank account that she had access to, she raped him, took it she all. Took all. It's crazy, yo. Ain't that shit crazy, right? You out there serving your country, you doing your thing, you spending money, you taking care of your family. Yeah. She goes in and cheat on you, and you got to pay the piper. Nah. And now you broke. Now you sitting on somebody's couch trying to figure out how you gonna make oh, it. Yeah. She gets all your money, and you got nothing. Not right. A damn thing. Not a damn thing. So she 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 left him, but then he, she left him with nothing. Oh no, nah, she didn't leave him with nothing. She let, she let him keep the dog and a couch. Yeah, <laughs> but she took everything else, all the money, like everything, which was stupid, you know. But he learned his lesson though, you know. Uh, he's married now with like four kids, all of them fat and out of shape. But hey, you know, <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. Oh man, you know what? I remember um, we came back from deployment, right? So Mizzy. You're a civilian, so you don't understand this. Imagine, back in the day, there was no Amazon like that, right? No. There was no Amazon. It was granny. So, you'd be happy if you get a package in the mail. You can't really go online and order stuff. So, when you deploy, your whole check is saved. Oh, yeah. You're saving your money. Oh, yeah. That shit's nice. So, if you're married, you're taking care of your family, right? But how much you expect for your, your check to be there when you come back? Oh, all of them. Well, yeah, all of it, I would say right, maybe, like, maybe like 60%. I would say 20% at least, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I take 80% and live your life still because you're not working or whatever, I'm taking care of you. I don't know, yeah. right? If you if you yeah. get the kids and all that, yeah. Mizzy probably said 100%, right? He's like, hey, <laughs> right? Yo, but check this out. We was gone for six months. We had our last port. He went to the ATM, he had zero dollars in it. I'm talking about everybody got like 10, 15, some 20,000. Somebody got, you know, and oh yeah, you got zero, you got zero dollars in your account. She, they got them. But how does like, you know, it's crazy. I know I was married when I was in the military. I had some bank account. 
I don't. I just. I fed money when you needed it. I see too many horror stories, so I fed the money. Yep, that's exactly what. Uh, like Gunny, you know, that's what you're <laughs> like. Listen, you know, I I know you know you pencil dicks, you know, love your wives <laughs> and your girlfriends and whatnot, but I'm gonna tell you something. You set up a different bank account that all your money go to. And, you know, if she need money, you'll send it to her. Yeah. But if you just let her have access, or him, depending on who you are, let him have access, they're going to take you for everything. Hell, but, yeah. Some people learned, some people didn't. Man, I don't I don't know how that. <laughs> well, no, I was, so when I was in, I was single. You know, I mean. You, I had, you ain't wasn't married at all? No, or you ain't? No, man, no, shit, no. I, got caught, I got caught up twice. Yeah. I got caught up no. twice while I was, I was in. Yeah, I mean, but that was a good thing about being on the green side. You never really had time, like, to just find a girl, have a relationship with, and get married, because either you were in the field or you were deployed. See, it was rough for me. My first got in, right? So check this out, Miss. What you gonna do as a civilian? I first get in. I'm getting four hundred dollars every two weeks paycheck, and I'm living on the boat. Yeah. Right. So you living at work. And you get four hundred dollars every two weeks. You ain't gonna spend and, no money. But when your supervisor needs you, they go tap on your rack. We're like, yo, come downstairs real quick. We need you for a second. That shit happened to me a couple of times. How how would you how would you take that, Miss? If you if you lived at work and you couldn't afford to stay out of town, but they're allowed to call you when you sleep and come work. Everybody getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. But guess what? You get married to your girlfriend, your paycheck quadruples. Your oh, paycheck yeah. quadruples. Oh yeah, right. Contract marriages. But then, but you got a girlfriend. You be like, yo, let me just marry my girl. You know what I mean? I already love her. Let me just marry her. A lot of I ain't the only one who did that. A lot of people did that. Like, yo, my girlfriend. Let me just go ahead and marry my girlfriend. I thought about it though, but I didn't have a girlfriend. But I thought about marrying a stripper. <laughs> like, that, that, no, I'm like, I swear to God. So I thought about marrying a stripper who, uh, you know, small world. We went to church together. We grew up. Yeah. And uh, I was like, yo, you know, you need medical benefits? I get them for free. <laughs> yeah. I'll send you a couple hundred bucks a month. Plus you get, you know, free medical benefits. Uh, but I I was like, mm, nah, because I've heard too many horror stories. People get attached. People start liking them benefits. And then you got to get divorced to, you know, get married to somebody else. And you got to explain to your wife, you know, why you got to get a divorce. Yeah, it's too Nah, I was like... I'll, I'll, I'll chill. But I did play the game after my second deployment. Um, I said I had to support my moms, which I, I did. So, you know, uh, what is it? The the PSs, they hooked it up. Well, they, they hooked it up? It. They let me stay on the in the barracks, but they paid me COLA plus VAH. Well, you was overseas then, huh? Nah, man. How you get COLA in the States? <laughs> they hooked you up, Palm. Yeah, because tw- yo, listen. If you if you ever been stationed at Twenty Nine Palms, yeah, or went to Twenty Nine Palms, yeah, and you ever deployed to Iraq, Twenty Nine Palms is literally like Iraq. I've been to Twenty Nine Palms. It's hell on earth, dog. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, yeah, I've been to Twenty Nine Palms. It, it is it, it is like overseas. That shit is crazy. I can never. I went out there one time and got a contract. I'm like, I can't do that. You know what I'm it saying? Is, it is not enough money in the world for me to go back to my Yeah, yeah. Yo, what's your... Hey, I know you got you got any fraternization stories? Oh, of course, dog. Like, so, the craziest one yeah. is kind of like a Jody story. Yeah. So, we're deployed, and one of the officers goes back um, because of, you know, some, some family shit. Uh-huh. What we thought was some family shit. But come to find out, you know, he played the system. So he goes back because he got one of the platoon, uh, I guess you'd call them team leaders. Uh, it's corporal, got his wife pregnant. So let, so let, let everybody know the, the, the rank, the equivalent to the civilian world of who got who pregnant. So, all right, so look at it like this. You're a supervisor. Got your no, excuse me. Your department head got your supervisor's uh, wife pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you know, but here's his his mess up part though. Like the depart the the supervisor literally thought he was having a baby when he came home. Yeah. Now here's the crazy part. The supervisor. Yeah. His wife. The department head. Is a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so the baby came yeah, on chocolate. Yeah. 
So, um, so, <laughs> so the Jody story. She she filed for divorce. So, no, but I'm just saying, like, the baby came. Like, he thought he had having a baby. Oh yeah, he did. And then the baby kept coming out. Oh, the baby came out Milano as fuck. It had a melon in it. So, what? So what? Like, so I mean, he, he come back and just start tripping, send people a mask. Like, no. Um. <laughs> so, the only reason I'm allowed to t- tell this story now. Is because they got a divorce before she had the baby. Yeah. Um, and then once they got a divorce, she then married the department head. So you can't do nothing because they're married. And technically, they were separated, but they weren't separated. She said they were separated. Yeah. He said that they weren't separated. So, yeah, it was it was a constant back and forth. So what the fuck do you, what do, you do in a situation like that? Like, like you going to work. And my my subordinate is, is is married to my 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 wife or ex. But you you know who got transferred? <laughs> who this, the the supervisor? The supervisor got transferred. Department head, yo, like every like all the other officers, everybody. It was the CEO, right? Yeah, patting him on Damn. the back. So the CEO yo, smashed the department head's wife. The department, you know, the department heads smashed the CEO's wife. Yeah, and he got away with it. The supervisor's wife. Yeah, of course he did. Yo, yo, twenty nine palms, dog. Like, listen, a girl, a woman, and twenty nine palms can be a ten, right? Yeah. <laughs> but if she go to San Diego, L.A., Miami, she's gonna be like a three or three to five. Yeah. Because you you ain't got nothing but a bunch of fucking. You, you got nothing to choose from. Out there. Damn, yo, Mizzy, check this out for my civilian folks. The hot, I don't know if you know, understand how high that rank is, which has happened. What's the like one of the highest ranks you got where you work with? Um, watch Commander, um, AP. All right. So is the AP higher than the Watch Commander? Yeah, assistant point director. All right. Who's the, the top of the, the point director AP? I'm not really sure, but I know it's somebody that watches over everything. But the highest person. So, the all right. So think about the person who watches over everybody. Wife got pregnant by your supervisor. Oh, he won't ever be allowed to work anywhere else. No, but then. He ends up marrying the the dude who's over everybody's. He ends up marrying her. What? Said he marries him. No, he marries her. Oh, like the dude yeah, that you that, said that, is that, over that. you. So my man Mizzy, so he's, he's, he's a he's a he's a guard patrol. AP, what you call it? White. The supervisor man, no, ab- above the AP. Above the AP's uh, white. Yes. Yeah. Wow. But the dude above the AP, he was. He got married. I mean, he 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 thought he was having a baby, and the baby came out black. Are he white? Yeah. And then they got divorced, and then she married the supervisor, and then they transferred the head dude. Crazy. Right? So that shit is, is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how how many crazy stories, man. Yo, give me a, give me a drunk story. Let me hear let me hear one of them drunk stories. Like one of mine or somebody else's? Huh? One of mine or somebody else's? You know, somebody, it could be one of yours, it could be somebody else. Give me some detailed drunk story. All right, I'll, I'll say one. Well, yeah. uh, oh, I like this. So, uh, I had a guy in my unit. Uh, yeah. You know, it wasn't too many black guys. So, you know, the five of us mm-hmm. that it was, you know, we hung out pretty tight. Yeah. So, uh, the closest thing to turn out Palms is Palm Springs. Yeah. And for those of you who, don't, who do not know, Palm Springs is not the best place to park. <laughs> uh, Twenty nine balls. Yeah, man. It's, just, it's just something to do, you know, when you're out there. Yeah. So uh, we go out there, uh, mind you. I we had just got back from deployment. Um, we went home for a little bit, and then we we're all back together. I'm in a boot because I broke my foot playing basketball. Yeah. So we go out to Palm Springs, and we just get just fucking trash. Uh, and then we get into a bar fight at a bar, and then we get kicked out. And one of the guys that's with, with us is down the street making out with this chick. Now, from behind, mm-hmm. it was the baddest chick I ever seen in my life. She thought she was bad. Yeah. And so, we, you know, we hyping him up, hyping him up, hyping, hyping him up. And, of course, you know, when you're drunk, okay, now we talk about it, you know, it's kind of like a me too thing. 
yeah. but when you hear the rest of the story, it's really not. Yeah. But when you get drunk at that time, you know, you feel it on any and everything. Yeah. <laughs> right. So he kissing her, grabbing her, and he takes his hand. Mm-hmm. He goes to grab. Yeah. He he, did, he pulled a Donald Trump, grabbed yeah. him by the pussy. However, it was not a pussy. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, it, it, Yo. Was, it was it was a ball in the shaft, just like him. So what he do? He, he, so he yells to us, "Hey, yo, it's a fucking dude!" Because <laughs> you know we hyping him up. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We're like, what the fuck? So he hauls off and socks her. Yeah. Now, when you think back to it, it was a fucked up situation. But I'm gonna keep telling the story. So we just keep going. We we see him sock her, or we that person. So we all just run out. Yeah. And we just started to get into a fight, not knowing that they were not alone. Mm-hmm. So we're fighting a group of trans, like or get guys, guys dressed g- as women. women. They, they, you know, <laughs> uh, they, hey, they strong man. If they could take a dick, <laughs> no, they, yo, I'm just saying. I, I I freak out when I wipe my asshole. But what I'm saying is, like, so it was just a straight brawl. We leave, and one of the cats, he's just angry. Drunk as fuck, angry, and he's like, he has a, he has like one of those little claw knives. It's kind of yeah. like an eagle claw. It's pretty sharp. He's like, I'll take anybody. I'll take you. I'll take myself. So what he does is he literally cuts an A, a sideways A into his chest. He cuts his. He hold up. He cuts his chest. Yeah, he cuts his chest, but it's over his shirt, and we don't know. Hey, all right, he's cool. Miss, hold up. Do you hear this? The dude cuts his chest. Cause he's just fucked up. Like um, oh, uh, hey. so, so think think about like what so, yeah. was y'all at? Uh, Palm Springs. Yo, we oh, this is all the Palm Springs. All, this is all the same. Number. Okay, yeah. So think about so it's a sideways, it's a sideways A. Like it goes from like nipple to nipple, <laughs> belly button to rib, and then right down the stern. <laughs> and so <laughs> we we're like, all right, yeah, he he's straight, he's straight, he's straight. And me being the doc, I'm like, yo, man, you leaking. So I'm looking at his shirt. I'm like, hey, come here. He's like, nah, Doc, I'm good. Get off me. I'm like, all right, listen. They call you, so they call you Doc or Baby Doc, right? Yeah, they call me Doc or Baby Doc, yeah. Because he's a corpsman. So yeah. go ahead. Uh, and he's like, hey, Doc, I'm good, man. Get your hands off me. I'm like, uh, nah, you're not. Let's, uh, <laughs> let me look at that. And yeah. sure enough, uh, he raises his shirt up, and the dude is leaking like a motherfucker. Because, you know, when you drink alcohol, your blood thins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so he's and he ain't feeling that. He probably ain't feeling that. He, he's not. And then when he looks at it, he's like, oh, shit, take a picture. Take a, show everybody this shit. And, I mean, it, it was, like, it was stupid. Yeah. That was that was Palm Springs. Uh, I'll take some. Then I would say Fuck. the other craziest story is one of my boys. We go, to, we, you know, a few of us go down to Mexico. And he's the only one who's, uh, who's married. Yeah. Uh, and she goes down with us, and we're all just having fun. Now, everybody always tells you when you go to Mexico, you know, put a little something in your sock for the federalists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we thought we did. <laughs> uh, you know, because first, uh, at this time, uh, the military personnel were not allowed in Mexico. So, they literally had MPs at the checkpoints. Yeah. We tried to play it off. We didn't have the haircuts. We had, like, fake, like, uh, San Diego State IDs. They still called us. So oh yeah, they gonna catch you because then people were like shit mate, you gonna turn your head. So they say, say, say some shit that well, only civilian, when only military motherfucker would know. Right, but luckily, you know, they pulled they pulled that shit mate thing on some cats that was with us that were in the navy, but they were on ships. Yeah, like when you're on the green side, you don't know shit. You don't hear shit mate like that. And you literally look at shit mate as yo, you cussing at me. Like true, I'm in the navy, but I don't I don't hang out with you motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you know, we go, a few of us get detained by the MPs, uh, and then we give him our boy's number, who's with us, who didn't get detained, yeah. and he's like, yeah, you know, it's a staff sergeant, so-and-so, uh, hang hang tight to him, I'll come down there and pick him up. So he comes down, grabs us, and I don't know how we do it, but we get back across the border. So we go across the border to Mexico, and we're partying, uh, E-40 is performing, uh, at this time I'm not even 21 yet. And I'm drinking my ass off. And everybody's drinking and having a good time. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Coco, Coco Bungo or something like that. It, but, you know. That's the name of the event? Uh, no, that's the name of the club. Uh, in Mexico? Yeah. With TJ? Yeah, TJ. 
Uh, you know, Adelita's is, is a part of the story as well, but I won't Ooh, talk about that's Adelita's. Good, that's Adelita's, Hong Kong, Adel- <laughs> Yo, Hong Kong, Adelita's. No, Ad- Adel- this was back when Adelita's was the shit before Hong Kong. So we pull, we pull up, uh, we all hanging out, having fun, yeah. and then, you know, one of the guys who gets detained yeah. is one of your East Coast friends, but he's from Boston. <laughs> and when he drinks, he just gets rowdy. So he gets detained by uh, Federales. And so we're all trying to like bribe him, get him out or whatnot. Come to find out the entire time his uh his wife had money in her bra but wouldn't bail him out. Mm. And the reason being is because she saw him kissing two other girls. In Mexico so, in Mexico. In Mexico. She was like so she was like, I don't have it, we ain't got it, we gotta figure it out. So uh long story short, we ended up bail- he ended up bailing himself out because he had money in his underwear. Yeah. And like paid the paid pay the Federal Rally, they let him out. Uh, he got out. She started fighting him, and we all ride in the cab together. They're still fighting, and I uh, I will never forget the story. I hate that I was in the cab with them. Well, what I'm in the front. They're I'm thinking they're like fighting in the back. Yeah, like just angry, angry, angry. <laughs> Next thing I know, these motherfuckers are fucking in the back seat. Hold up, who fucking in the back seat? The married couple who was fighting like yeah. that that turns each that turns them on, dog. They both from the East Coast. You East Coast motherfuckers. <laughs> like I swear to God, like, so they fucking in the back seat coming from jail. Yeah. So really, these are coming from jail and they say, "Fuck it, I'm starting to fuck in the back seat. I'm mad at each other." Yo, they, you know, I I would never understand that type yeah. of married love, man. Like I'm not gonna like argue with you to turn you. So you off. so you look back and like these motherfuckers about to kill each other. No, I didn't look back. I like they fucking. Know. Uh, Cause I I could hear her and I could hear him. I was like, nope. I was, and I turned up. I yo, I turned up music. I told my the the trial. I was like, yo, man, don't even look in that rearview mirror. No matter what, do not look in that rearview mirror. Just keep driving. He probably couldn't even understand me because he only speaks Spanish. Ooh. And I only I only know enough Spanish to give me some pussy at Adelita's at the time. Hey, so, hey, <laughs> hey, hey! You know what I'm saying, hey, get a little, you know what I'm saying, a little cut here and there. He was good. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yo, a lot of people don't understand. Like, I didn't think that that Mexican thing was real. So this dude told me a long time ago. He was like, "Yo, one time I, I went to, back in the day. I was like an E four. He's like, he went to TJ. Yeah. Said cops do a um. He went to Mexico, right? I don't know if y'all know. If y'all, you in San Diego, TJ Mexico is like fifteen minutes away from the borders. Like fifteen minutes away. It's like a third world country. Fifteen minutes away from you know what I mean from, yeah. from society. So he says he goes. He goes down to the TJ and the dude throws some coke on the floor and had a flashlight. I'm like, yo, what's this? So he's like, oh, shit ain't mine. And he said, no, it's yours. I need $100. Something like <laughs> yeah. that. He's asking for money. Yeah. So he had to pay him so he don't get locked up. I'm like, man, I don't know if that's this real. But I went about two years ago. I went about two years ago and. We were in a cat. We were in like, like I was an Uber. I was in there maybe three years ago. I was in the in the car, and cops pull us over, and they say, and they check this, and they said, "Yo, whose meth pipe is this?" I'm like, "What the fuck? Where fucking meth pipe come from?" He's like, "Yo, he zipped my pants down in front of everybody, went in my stuff, and then he just looked at my wallet, and I had it by I had forty dollars in my wallet, forty U.S." Yeah, and he took it and said, "All right, y'all good then." So I go, "What's up?" So I gave him my forty. I gave him the forty US, and he said I was good. But like we didn't do anything. But he he planted a meth pipe on us. Oh, of course, huh? So you have to have some money for the federale. Yeah, I, I would say you know at least at least I always kept a hundred in my sock. No, no, you, they don't want too much because I think like forty or eighty. I think I don't know it's forty or eighty dollars. But the that's just their salary. That's their salary true, for the week. But the reason I kept hundred is because I wanted to pay forty to the cops, and you know the rest. Again, <laughs> Adelita's. 